This girl is amazing, and it's Lisa Kaufman. Lisa Korsman es amazing, increíble. Ella es una artista, así nació y así se define. Aquí nos va a contar cómo se inició en las diversas artes que practica, desde pintura y dibujo hasta poesía y origami. Lisa es una habitué de las convenciones de origami en Estados Unidos, donde todos la conocen por los objetos que exhibe, incluyendo tarjetas postales y billutería de origami. Actualmente vive en Minor, Massachusetts, junto a sus dos peces de colores, Kyla y Ari. Soy Laura Sofi, directora del Museo del Origami en Colonia, y los invito a conocer a Lisa Korfman. Welcome. My name is Lisa B. Korfman, and I'm an origami artist. Origami is my specialty. I love origami. It, became, it made me become who I am. From a little girl, um, my family always cared about me and said, you're an artist. And I vaguely remember that when I was... In kindergarten, if I remember, I asked my mom when she knew I was an artist. So I think I've always been an artist. I make, sell, teach, and showcase origami. In uh, fourth grade, I created this. The um, and this was my first exhibited work. It's a um, a sunflower with a creative background. I uh, began te teaching origami when I was. Um, when I was in high school, taking a lot of extracurricular activities as I grew up. After graduating high school, I matriculated to Endicott College where I received my bachelor's degree in fine arts. When I was in high school I, and through college, I worked at the Discovery Museum and made this harmonograph design artwork uh, um, for my years in Endicott. That's and. That's where I got my bachelor's degree, and I picked up origami there. It became what I identify. I realized that origami is a rock. It was my stable element. This here is a rock I made or decorated with an origami loving smile and a poem about it. I sold my first artwork in college and I began writing poetry about it. So after graduating college, I would start my business called Rocky Arts Unfolded, of course. I would go from working at a camp for disabled children and adults to being a live-in home health, health aide, to being in a nursing home as the activities assistant, to be in cheers of this group called Artists with Disabilities Task Force, where I led the group of many different um, adults with challenges who are artists in their pursuits of being a successful artist. Um, I learned a lot about what it's like to try and be a professional artist. It's not easy. It was a, a very um, long time to become what I have become now. At one point, I decided that I thought it would be best to try and get a little bit more training. So I went to Dallin College where I received my advanced certificate in marketing. I joined the wet paint studio group that's local, that was in my hometown in New York and um, started painting charcoal drawings of origami. These are some postcards that have different things that I've done paintings of. And this is the idea of the card. It's blank inside, and it has a, it, it, it's a professional card that people can send to their loved ones. Uh, recently, I realized that my art isn't just a rocky thing. It, it It's what I wanted to make my place. So, um... After designing my website a couple of years ago, I realized that my origami place is me flying upon a blue crane. It's my origami place. And this is one of the, the pieces that makes 
that means a lot to me. The crane is a symbol of long life, peace, and healing. And, and that's what really was my biggest inspiration to be an origami artist. You can see this is one of my early works based on my old logo. This is um, the, the um, logo design artwork with little pieces of rock, little tiny pieces of sand where a crane rested upon a rock and peace gives wings to healing. For healing, the, the people I'm around mean the world to me. Right over here are some of Mark Kennedy's uh, pins and magnets that he did and he, he so generously uh, promoted the, the enjoyment of origami and enthusiasm and love of the art. Um, so, um, my mission now as Origami Place is that origami, at an Origami Place, we make, sell, teach, and showcase origami, embracing paper's wonder. We strive to bring the enjoyment of origami to all and for everyone to find ways to grow, achieve, and enjoy through our, our origami goods and services. We do have some values, the, the, what we need to stand by, and they're a fun car. Of course, we want to be fun. We want to be family and friendly and enjoyable for all, all ages. We want to be C, creative, A, artist, have artistic renderings, and our reliability and respect. And our slogan is full. Our, 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 our slogan is discover paper folding materials galore. But I have a side project called, that I'm working on called Origami Museum. And the slogan for that is fold. And that can be found at origamimuseum.org. But the golden rule that we all must stand by is to let our DNA fold our dreams. DNA contracts and expands. It's the heart of what makes us who we are. And when DNA folds in the way that we feel we can grow with, the way our hearts desire, our, our spirits can lead us to, then our dreams can be true, come true. So thank you and um, unfold your dreams beautifully. Surfing.